I'm on a mission to watch every single Disney feature film and I have to realise that that will include watching animal based films. Ordinarily, I don't like animal films because they're usually sad and I usually cry and that's not the experience I look for with films. So I wasn't sure what would happen with the shaggy dog, but it turns out this is not a sad sentimental animal film. There are sentimental moments, I guess, here and there, but it's not at all what I was expecting. I'm aware that there's a remake or at least a film with the same title. I'm not entirely sure how it compares. So it's not like I have another point of reference. I literally knew nothing about this film. And when I started watching it, I thought, yeah, this is kind of an interesting concept. I'm keen to see where they go with it. But after about the halfway mark, and at this point, not a lot had happened, it kind of slowed down and became not very interesting. This is, of course, a Disney film released in 1959, directed by Charles Barton. Uh, and we have Fred McMurray as Wilson Daniels. And we also have Kevin Kukorin as uh, Moochie, who, who appears in some other Disney films at this time. And Wilby Daniels is played by Tommy Kirk, and Gene Hagen is Frida. And this is all about a dog, but it's not a real dog. This teenager happens to transform into a dog. And I won't say exactly how this happens or what causes it to happen, but I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I thought it was very fascinating and I kind of wish they'd explored that aspect of it a bit more. But that's kind of why I enjoyed the beginning because it was really interesting. I thought they could have done so many different things with this, but it's not so much about that or how that happened. It's more about, I guess understandably, about this teenager's experience as a dog and things he witnesses when he's a dog and I guess the big question of will he continue to transform periodically into a dog or will there be a, a cure for this uh, curse if you like and yeah it sounds interesting and I am kind of keen to check out the I think it's 2006 version assuming that is a, a remake of the narrative I could be wrong it could be completely unrelated but it is an interesting concept but unfortunately the execution is just not that interesting. None of the characters are fascinating, apart from Moochie, but that's because I, I rather like Kevin Kukorin, um at this point in his acting career. Having said that, Professor Plumcut, played by Cecil Kellaway, um, rather liked his character. He wasn't in it as much as I would have liked, but there were a few characters here and there I thought were, you know, pretty interesting to watch, but for the most part... I just didn't care. I most certainly didn't care about this dog. It definitely wasn't the emotional animal film I was assuming it would be, which in a way is a good thing because, as I said, I don't particularly care for them. One of the next ones on my list is Greyfriars Bobby. Good luck, Amy. This definitely isn't um, <laughs> the same style there. So would I recommend it? Well, as a film on its own, no, I wouldn't. I'd recommend the first half of the film, certainly, but the whole film, no. But if you're watching all of Disney's films, then I'd say absolutely check it out. It's on Disney Plus and see what you think of it for yourself. Maybe it, it will appeal to you. However, it's not one that I particularly enjoyed. Um, interesting concept, not the best execution.